Right, Jamal, you signed a deal with the club. How do you feel? Um, brilliant, really. It's what I came to do. Come in, you know, enjoy myself, and hopefully, you know, impress the coaching staff and everyone. And I'm sure I've done that. And have you found the experience so far? You signed your contract at the end of 2019. What's 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 your taking out of the Bradford Bulls so far? Um, mainly just like the uh, the targets that we've got. You know, we know what we want to do. We know what we've got to do to d- to do it and. So everyone's everyone's just buying into that. Saying fans are a part of that, you know. And so far, they've been they were a big part of it, really, for me, wanting to stay here. And now you're an extremely young player for your position. What's it like training with players like Ross Peltier, someone that you already know, and Steve Crossley as well? It's good because they give you that bit of schooling in training. You know, you're not going to get it all all easy. But then at the same time, they you know the supportive of you. They're always giving you tips and all. Oh, do this, do that. You know, there's always that bit of support at the back of them. Uh, you mentioned the fans before as well. Have you found it playing in front of that Bradford faithful so far? Surreal, really. You know, twelve months ago, I were at Keithley watching the pre-season game, watching Ross Keane being chased by that goose, and then now I'm playing alongside him with you know being the player that the fans are watching. You know, all feedback and everything I'm getting from the fans, it's it's great. I mentioned before that you're especially a young player for your position. Um, how do you see yourself developing as a player at the Bulls? Well, I like to think I'll stay here for a, you know, a, a decent amount of time. I'm here for a, I like to think a longer time to stay here and develop and hopefully get Bulls to where they need to be, where I think they should be, where I've always watched them, you know, at the top in Super League. I'd like to think I can stay and be a part of that. And um, working with a coach like John Kerr, someone who's renowned for his rugby league history, um, what's it? Have you found that experience so far? Good because everything he says is positive. You know. You, you could do something negative, but it'll go right. Go do this to fix it. It won't just have a go at you. You know, it'll always say right. Look, this is what you need to do, and it'll be positive about it and build you up and make you think. Right, yeah, I can do it. Rather than oh, great, I've got to do this. And then just finally, there's quite an exciting vibe coming out of the club at the minute. It's, it's getting players signing like Dane Chisholm, um, recent one Greg McNally, John Kerr, the Cooper signing them as well. It's quite an exciting place to be around at the minute, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. You know. Bringing in players who've got a lot of experience at a lot of um, good clubs, you know, and that's what it's what it's needed. You know, we've got the younger players like myself, you know, like the young lads from Huddersfield, John Owen, uh, Woody, and Butty and Ev. You know, young lads. That's we want to be where they've been, and they're the right people to go to because they've been there, done it, and hopefully we can all pull it together for this season.